The Multi-Encounter Billing Manager, or Billing Manager for short, is a tool we created as a next-gen add-on to help in the case where you need to create several encounters from a single patient visit. This tool will give you that ability to build out those encounters from a single screen. Let's go ahead and launch this next-gen add-on. As a typical NextGen add-on, its access is controlled by group membership within NextGen. So those who have access to it will be able to see it. And we'll set that up with you during the installation. The billing manager itself is very straightforward in how it operates. What we've really done is taken the important key fields from creating encounters and charges and put them on a single screen. For our environment today, we have this set up for an ophthalmology scenario. So when we configure this, we'll go into the group maintenance and configure the types of encounters you expect to have. So in this case, we have encounters for professional charges, encounters for specialized equipment like the A-scan machine, encounters for the surgery center, and encounters for the anesthesia. You may have two of these, you may have five of them. In this case, we have four of them here. One of the encounters will be our base encounter. This will be the encounter that gets created in NextGen when the patient checks in. This is the encounter that will be created and you'll pull the insurances onto and do the initial setup. This will function as our template for the other encounters that are gonna be created. So in this scenario here, we picked the professional charges, the clinic encounter, to be the base one, and we've marked that to be the base encounter. We've set up the other encounters to use the insurance from the base encounter. So it'll go ahead and set that up on the encounters that are subsequently created using the billing manager. And those encounters may even be in other practices. By the way, if the patient is not yet um, a chart in the other practice, this will go ahead and set that up. So it'll create the globe to become a chart, to become an actual patient in next-gen terms. We can also set up the minimum and maximum number of encounters for each type to create for each set. Uh, zero means it's optional. In most cases, you're really going to be a minimum and maximum of one, but you have that ability to either make it optional with zero or set a maximum that could be more than one. You can also pick, if you didn't want to use the base encounters insurance, you could use the last encounters insurance from that practice. Also, you can pick the rendering and referring from the base encounter and have them translate onto the subsequent encounters. So for the A-scan machine, the rendering is going to come from the base rendering. But for the surgery center, maybe we have someone else doing the actual surgery, so the rendering from the base encounter becomes the referring, then we'll have to go ahead and put in who the surgeon is. And of course, we can match these all up to use the same date, which of course would make sense. And then if there's a bill hold date specified, it can pick that up off the base encounter also. So when we start this, normally you'd have your base encounter that you're working from. Often there'd be a report to tell you what the base encounter was, but if all you had was a patient name, you could go ahead and do an encounter search and pull it up by that name and pull it into the screen. In this case, we're going to go ahead and enter that base encounter's name. So we can see here on the base encounter that it's encounter 1207. It has a charge on it. If we look at the status here, it's marked as enroll, which means it's in NextGen, but it hasn't been set up as part of this set of encounters we're creating. So it's just going to enroll it or add it to the set of encounters. Now let's say we want to create our ASC encounter. We can come down here and we can either right mouse and add the new encounter for the surgery center, or we have hotkeys along the bottom that are keyed to those groups that we set up, those different types of encounters, so you could keep your hands on the keyboards more. So let's go ahead and pick the ASC encounter, and we'll see this is being created, and right now, because it's not in NextGen yet, it doesn't have an encounter number. It used our default location. We can go ahead and change that here if we want to. We can pick the facility here, the patient type, and we can also pick 
the rendering provider. So let's go ahead and pick the rendering provider and we'll pull that back in. And now we can add a charge to this. So we can simply, in this case, use the hotkey to do a control N. It'll ask us for a service item. So we can go ahead and look up a service item. Now I'm just gonna pick something at random here. And then we can see that it's pulled that service item in. Now the header up above, because we have four rows here, so we'll look at the highlight to see which one we're on. So I'll pull this back, we'll tab over, and we'll see that move. We can override the pricing if we want to. It pulls down the uh, diagnosis codes. So if you have diagnosis codes on those that base encounter, it'll go ahead and pull that over too. Now we can see on this one that it's marked for insert and so is the encounter. So these ones do not exist in next gen yet. They just exist in memory. So we're kind of building this out as we want it to be. So I can go ahead and say, let's go create some anesthesia charges now. So we can go ahead and put that in here. And we can look for a particular provider here. I'm just gonna pick one that's in the system. Yeah, that's probably not a real one we'd use. I can use an anesthesia sim pull that back. And of course, for anesthesia, it's time-based. So we have fields in here for you to enter the time. And it'll do the calculation based on the insurance and pull that over. So in this case, we wound up with nine units. It did the nine times $90 to come up with $810. In the course, you can override that depending on how you do this. So now, instead of creating these additional two encounters by bouncing around next gen, even having to change practices because they're in different practices, we can just go ahead and hit save and these encounters will be created. It's that simple. Then you move on to your next set of encounters in your next set. Um, it's almost un unexciting how easy it becomes to create these versus how much time it actually takes in next gen to move through the various screens to set this up. So I can come back here to my original encounters and now I can see that in the pending column, these are all set to none. These are all put together as part of this encounter set that the system will keep track of. Also, we have encounter numbers because now these have been inserted into NextGen. So these encounters and charges will exist for you in NextGen. So if we go back to our NextGen and switch to the surgery center and pull up encounter 32, we'll go ahead and see that. So let me switch over. And then we'll pull up encounter 32. All right, and we can see how this has been brought over. Here's our uh, rendering providers. We can come down here, see that our charge has been entered. And this has all been taken care of from this simple, easy to use screen where we've brought the relevant key fields that you need forward and given it to you in a single screen. This is typically a tool that would be used by specialties who need to have that capability to create more than one encounter at a time. If you're only creating one encounter, you won't need this. Two encounters maybe, but once you get to three or more encounters, it becomes invaluable as to the time savings that'll give, that it'll give you. Thanks a lot for taking a quick look at this. We appreciate your time and please reach out to us if you have any questions.